So for the ladies this one regarding heavy cycles and clots. So let's just appreciate normal physiology first and foremost. Normal cycle lasts 28 days. The bleeding phase of this should last 5 days. This is for the average population of course. Um, heavy cycles are what we refer to as menorrhagia in medical terminology. Painful cycles are what we refer to as dysmenorrhea. Uh, by definition, a heavy cycle is defined as a blood loss of 80 mils or in excess of. The alternate definition to this is a blood loss of more than 80 mils and or a bleeding phase that lasts for more than 7 days. Now, clots in uh, the heavy cycle, so the first, uh, firstly actually, heavy cycles are the most common cause of iron deficiency anemia in uh, women of childbearing age. So it's not uncommon for us to see a picture that demonstrates microcytic anemia uh, in, in these uh, age population. The concept of clots here comes about, so let's appreciate the actual uterus itself. Uh, the three layers, the outer layer being the perimetrium, the muscular layer being the myometrium, which are the middle layer, and then the inner layer being the endometrium. Now, in the endometrium, uh, you have a lining of an anticoagulant agent. This anticoagulation, uh, the anticoagulating agent, sits there naturally, and what it does is it actually ensures that the blood that is being lost does not coagulate. Now, however, if you have a larger amount of blood volume sitting in the uterus that's being lost, then what happens, the limiting factor is the anticoagulation agent. The blood then sits and stagnates any more than 20 minutes and your blood will start to hemolyze, it will start to form clots. So what happens is you then start to pass clots. So in, in short, the limiting factor is this anticoagulation agent that lines the endometrium. Uh, if the blood is much more than it should be, you've not got enough agent to thin that blood, which is now sitting stagnant in the area, and so the clots start to form. That's the reason we see clots in uh, the context of menorrhagia or heavy cycles. If this is the case, it's something you should bring up with the GP. Uh, if you have signs of anemia, again, something to bring up with the GP because these are easily reversible causes and the signs and symptoms are very well managed through primary care and or otherwise through conservative measures. Thank you for watching.